Hi, my name is Richard Crawford, host of Supply and Demand, an enlightening webcast show where we delve into the dynamic world of the global supply chain, where we navigate through the complexities, disruptions, and innovations that shape this vital network of interconnected businesses. From sourcing raw materials to delivering finished products, we'll uncover the challenges that arise at each stage and explore strategies for optimizing efficiency and sustainability. And each week, we'll highlight and discuss a specific supply chain event. And of course, I'm joined each week by my co-host, CEO of the Atlas Network, and now author of the world-famous Supply Chain Seesaw book, Kareem Kafuri. How are you, buddy? Hey, Richard. How are you doing? Thank you. That's a very nice intro. Appreciate it. And uh, did you read it yet? or you Dude, just... I did. It's so exciting. It's, it's, it's honestly... It's a, I don't mean it's an easy read to put it down, but it it flows really easy. Like the information is is very pertinent. It's 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 good for anybody. It's good for people who are in the supply chain logistics world and people who are not because it lays everything out in quite layman's terms. There is some terms in here that you use that are that for, for the layman is a little difficult to get. But overall, I really enjoyed it, man. Well done. Uh, really, oh, congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. I mean, that was the idea. You know, it's yeah. such a it's such a complicated space. It's really, really difficult. There's so many moving parts. So I wanted to make something that just the student could pick up and read because there's so many students now, uh, undergrad, graduate that are studying supply chain and logistics is a very hot industry yeah. or even, you know, people who are now being tasked with doing more supply chain related uh, roles in their work or even just seasoned professionals who want to not be a siloed and get a widespread perspective. So I appreciate it. And uh, if anybody's interested in it, it's at supplychainseesaw.com or on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for the for the comments. Man, summer, it's almost done. I mean, I'm I'm wearing a nice little like, you know, shirt with palm trees on it. And I'm I've got a little bit of a tan. I'm trying to bring it back, but man, it's uh it's uh, unbelievable it's... that it's something that you know we're still dealing with here as far as uh as far as summer almost being over here, right? <laughs> I, I didn't travel that much during summer. I'm actually about to get really travel heavy here in the next few months, but that that that's all right. I go to parts of the world where it's summer, so that's good. Yeah, that's good too. Well, I mean, I'm really excited about uh, what we're gonna talk about today um because this is an event that I'm gonna have a much bigger role at. Um, it's called Deliver. It's happening in October from the 9th to the 11th, and we're going to be fortunate to have the founder with us today. And I think you're going to actually be there around the same time, too. So I'm sure you may you may pop in and see a little bit of that event as well, right? Well, I'm going to have to come get my book signed at the very least, because I haven't seen you <laughs> since I got it. So. Yes, yes. It should and, be really, and, it should be really and I neat. paid full price for it, so you're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but, you know, it, it should be a great event, and, and these folks reached out to me and said, you know, that they wanted me to be a part of it and to help, you know, uh, host it and yeah. and be able to run uh, particular sessions and, and have some cool. conversations. And so I'm very excited to be a part of it. So awesome. we'll, all right, we'll, we'll, let, let, well, let's bring in our guest today um, and, and we can we really get into the, to the details of this event. Um, so our guest today, Stephen Tomzak, the founder and CEO of Deliver. And he looks back over 15 years of experience in international e-logistics. And after graduating in political sciences and business from Sciences Hall in HEC, Stefan led the global multi-channel distribution for several years of one of the largest e-commerce players in Europe, Pixmania. Before spearheading the logistics activities of a leading e-commerce associations in Europe, FIVAD and e-commerce Europe, I hope I pronounced them the right way. In 2015, Stefan launched Deliver, which quickly became Europe's flagship event for e-commerce and logistics and has established itself as a premier community of European thought leaders, aggregating thousands of decision makers to accelerate business connections and build meaningful conversations. Stefan, a huge warm welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Richard, for having me. Yeah, now it's a little bit of an international affair today because you are, where are you? Tell the audience where you are. I'm based in France, in Brittany. It's a beautiful uh, area on the western part of France. It's a, it's a beautiful part of France. Now, I, I, I'm a little bit of a Francophile. I love a lot of parts of France. Um, I will have to be honest with you, the south of France draws me more than Brittany does. But on the occasion I get to Brittany, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, thank you so much, Stefan, also for for jumping on the show. Really appreciate it. I'm I'm very much looking forward to meeting you in Las Vegas um, yeah. in uh, from the 9th to the 11th for the uh, for the Las Vegas Deliver event. From what I can tell and what I can see uh, from what I've discussed with the team, it seems to be an amazing event with lots of great people. I'm super excited to be a part of it. I've never been to one before, and and I'm very excited. And it actually, Richard ends up being in Vegas right around the same time too. So he may pop in for a day and then we can all kind of, you know, see each other in person too. But why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, a little bit about Deliver and just, and what it's all about. Yeah, sure. And thank you first for, for being part of the show, Karim. And uh, we pretty much look forward to having you on stage with us. So, um, so yeah, actually, um, Deliver actually, it's only our, our second edition in the US. And uh, it's uh, we we like to be the 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 new kids on the block, um, and actually we're introducing like a, a concept which is uh, still fairly uh, innovative and unique, uh, which worked very well uh, the last uh, almost ten years in Europe, and that now we're expanding into into the US and into Asia. So uh, it's all built around um, creating like a very tailor-made experience uh, for all the delegates. Uh, it's not like, you know, a, a stand drop by an exchange of business cards just by between random people. And so what we do is that we we are, uh, we are ask our, uh, our customers, our sponsors, you know, who are the people they want to meet, uh, who are their ideal customers, and then we just uh, look after uh, those people and we recruit exactly those people based on their wish list and um, we are extremely um, selective in our in our uh, recruitment we, we vet every single delegate in right and so we're only looking after uh, you know the C and D people from you know from from the brands our uh, customers are asking us uh, to, to to bring in and then actually uh, 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 like one month out to the show, we are opening like uh, our matchmaking platform to both parties uh, to the to our uh, to the to the our service providers, the uh, third party logistics, uh, uh, you know, um, shipping companies, automation companies, and those shippers. And then, uh, based on our um, unique designed uh, matchmaking platform that you know we've we're actually we've built in in house. Uh, we just match make you know uh, you know the the project from our uh, for the shippers for the with the capabilities of, of the of our service providers and we build our you know the we 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 match them and then we build those those agendas and, and yeah and it's 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 worked like very well into uh, in Europe and and also last last year in, in the US. So, so fan, be... talk a little bit about the the tone of the show because obviously. Kareem and I are, are, do this show that we have supply and demand, and it was to kind of bring supply chain logistics to the forefront in a non-boring way, for, for lack of a better expression, make it make it sexy, you know, and it's because it's been around for a very long time. And I, I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe Deliver has that as an agenda. Let's make supply chain logistics fun and sexy. Yes, I mean, I, I am totally on the same page as you, Richard. It's ex exactly it. Uh, what we've been exactly trying to do since the, since day one is that we've we've made um, uh, log uh, our show like unboring you want and actually in, even sexy and glamorous. Mm -hmm. uh, we it's we are um, uh, we are also making uh, we we also wanted to to make logistics sexy you know because uh, the uh, in in many shows uh, you know we, we had like many shows in other industries which were sexy but in in the supply chain area. That was still like kind of uh, lacking, you know. So that's why actually we are making a very premium kind of a show uh, where uh, we 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 take our delegates to like a premium, you know, venues to like the best hotels. We're exactly on the strip. Uh, we bring uh, we offer everything, you know, uh, from the catering to the to the uh, traveling costs, and actually we also threw like an amazing party at the at the Dries nightclub. Uh, on Thursday evening, so it's going to be like a hell of a nice party, and all is is you know 
gorgeous and great and, and, and sexy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And, and the other thing in my little bit of research that I've done that, that impresses me personally, because my background, my, my other thing that I do is all to do with sustainability and tour, tourism and travel. And I know that you guys have a pretty heavy sustainability program when you're producing these shows. Yeah, thank you for pointing this out because indeed that that's been very core to everything we've been doing since day one, since uh, actually uh, our very first show uh, in 2016. Is that we've uh, we've always paid extra attention to how how to minimize the our, our footprint, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's not only just uh, 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 talking the talk; it's it's walking the talk because you know we we've uh, we've also since day one compensated compensated all our emissions i mean we have always you know uh, uh you know just put away some margin right just to 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 fund some some reforestation program in the um, amazon forest yeah actually that's why actually we've, we've helped plant and safeguard like millions of trees uh yep. in the amazon forest and so which makes our our shows are carbon neutral and we would love to to have have this aspect, which is still fairly unique uh, at this point of time, to be widespread across near the uh, to the the you know uh, organizations doing like events. And I would love you to also challenge you know the other shows you are going to say, hey guys, what are you really doing when it comes to yeah. sustainability? And and you make a really good point because I come across this all the time. Very often, people who who have these efforts in sustainability um, do it at the detriment to the bottom line, but it's important enough. I mean, it costs them money to do it, but it's yeah. important enough and it's important enough to the people. It's important enough to the organization. And it's certainly important enough to the planet to where there is a little bit of a sacrifice fiscally, but it's worth it. So uh, yeah. again, uh, well done on that. Really, really impressive. Thank you very much on this. And actually, I would also top it up with something even more unique is that actually um all the all the profit of the company actually uh it's redirected uh to like sustainability funds you know and, and Very it's well. all, all the profits 100 percent. so we are a company right operating with the company making profits but the the, the whole of the profit is rerouted to uh, to making the planet you know a better place amazing no and i was going to say real quick stefan two things uh, one the matchmaking component of what you do um, at these events, I think is is absolutely essential and innovative because, you know, there's so many silos in this space, in the supply chain space, everyone just sort of gets in their own lane and does what they do. But we know, and something such as the pandemic highlights the fact of the importance of interconnectivity and knowing what's happening above stream and below stream. So to be able to really match make not just within your particular category, but then across the entire chain is something that is very, very important these days. And I think that more and more businesses and individuals are understanding the importance of having a holistic, a holistic view across the entire supply chain space. So, so doing that and improving the communication and networking across the entire supply chain through the processes you're doing, I think is absolutely essential. And the second thing is, is that, you know, we, as we said, we touched upon this sustainability uh, part and more and more it's becoming increasingly important, especially with the COP28 conference, which happened in Dubai and all of the initiatives around 2050 and being, uh, you know, zero emissions by that time frame. We know that shipping and logistics is the eighth largest contributor of pollution to the global uh, detriment that is happening in the world. And so, you know, anything we all can do with our part, starting with, you know, great events like yours, which are taking the charge up to do these things is absolutely essential. And, and so very, very uh, proud and excited to be a part of the event with you all. And, and these initiatives are great. And as, as Rich says, he does so much in the realm of sustainability, and, uh, and has a whole entire show about it on Amazon called Leave No Trace. If you've never seen it before, you should take a look at it. It's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for everything you all do and, and very excited to see you all in October. Um, Richard, I think, I think we may be 
we may be past the pleasantries with Stefan. It may be time to, to get him it's time, into the... It's time to put him in the hot seat, for sure. It's been easy, but been so nice to him up to this point. Now we're going to put him in the hot seat. So the hot seat, uh, the hot seat Stefan, is basically we're going to ask you three questions. Um, you're going to answer them as close to five minutes as you possibly can. If you go over, that's fine, as long as you're close to five minutes. And, uh, and we're going to have fun with it. So you ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. The... Clock starts as soon as I get it to come up. Clock starts now. All right, Stefan, what is the deliver experience and what makes you different from other supply chain events? So um, a deliver is all about matchmaking. It's all about, you know, uh, building the right connections uh, between the right people. And uh, we do this by by being very selective in our uh, delegate recruitment we do this by 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 work very closely with our um, customers the supply chain uh, service providers across the entire uh, supply chain spectrum and we do this uh, thanks to our um, in um, in-house built um, matchmaking platform which actually uh, starts uh, working one month ahead of the show where we build like a, a digital twin of the show before the show starts. Actually, we, we like to say internally that actually the, the real day the show starts for us is the day the matchmaking uh, starts, which is one month ahead of the show, which will be September 9th uh, for, for the second edition uh, in the US. Um, um, we uh, are different because um, uh, also because actually we offer that very glamorous uh, VIP experience uh, on, on both sides of the marketplace. Uh, the, the, um, the retailers or the shippers, uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, they enjoy actually a, a complimentary accommodation in a, in a, in a four-star hotel and resort in, in, in Vegas. They even get like you know their their travel costs refunded. You know? So uh, basically, as as um, as a, as a VIP uh, for us, if you are like a CMD level uh, or a decision maker in a in a brand which is of interest to our uh, customers, uh, to our sponsors, then uh, we just you know we, we just ask for your time and nothing else. You know we would not ask you to pay any any crazy fees uh, to join our show. We just uh, take it take it on us and uh, you just, you know, uh, on our, on our, uh, our guest, I would say. On the, on the supplier side, you know, our customers, uh, which are our only source of revenue, uh, we take care of everything from the stand design and build, uh, also, of course, the matching arrangements, uh, we ask them only to 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 get them uh, to get the the graphics for the for the stand. We ask them for the wish list. We and we work uh, backwards uh, from this. And uh, we even have um, on, on site, and you will see it yourself uh, when you'll be with us uh, in October. We have also what we call the meetings assistant, which are people who are just roaming around the room just to ensure that everybody who is supposed to, to sit at a certain time and place is actively uh, on site. So we are really extremely, uh, you know, uh, uh, we go very far, we go the extra mile, you know, when it comes to, to service. Well, well, you're going to have to get these next two questions in pretty quick, Stefan. Yeah. <laughs> I've got question number two, Stefan. Where and when is Deliver America 2024 and how can people attend? The, this this one is an easy one. So it's it's uh, the uh, it's October tenth and, and 11th, and so we invite people to arrive on the 9th, But the two uh, show dates are October tenth and, and, and 11th. That's a Thursday, Friday. It's in Vegas, uh, a, a great city, and uh, the we have uh, to to attend. So then, uh, if you are if you are like a, a shipper. Uh, and, and uh, representing like a retailer, then uh, you have to be uh, you have to be like a decision maker. You have to be representing a brand who uh, is uh, having like at least ten million dollars of revenue, uh, and you you must have like active projects in either in in three PL, in automation, in in courier services, in, in data, or you know uh, 
uh, any of those uh, uh, you know topics uh, and then you, you go on a, on a website at www.deliver.events and then you will you will find uh, easily how to to apply yeah. and and our team will let you know uh, very quickly if you if you uh, qualify or not uh, on the on the service provider side uh, actually we are actually uh, almost uh, sold out already but actually we still have some some seats uh, some stands left so uh, so you just also go on the website and, and you know uh, just you fill it the form it's going to be super easy so uh, the, the most important is to act before the matchmaking uh, clocks in on September 9th so it's www.deliver.events all right Stefan one innovation that we can expect to see at the event this year I mean it's it's uh one it's i would say it's, it's about the announcements that will be made from our uh speakers uh, we have you know people from amazon walmart disney target you know just to name a few who are coming to to speak to testify about their their ai advancements i think mm -hmm. this is i mean the the number one topic which is super hot and uh I, i'm seeing uh i've heard about the great announcements which are which will be made you know, uh, around those, those, uh, those lines, yeah. Very cool. All right, we're going to stop there. Slightly over, but interesting enough that it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. We, we have to have the, job. Time, have the time to say all the great things that are happening, though. So, you yeah, know, we, it, it's a win-win, yeah, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not holding it against anybody. Um, all right, Stefan. Well, well, thank you so much. It's, it's been a real pleasure talking to you. Um, Kareem will obviously see you in Vegas. Hopefully, I'll get to run into you guys, and and, and I wish you guys all the luck for that event. Not that you'll need it. It's you know it's well put together. This is not your first not your first rodeo, so to speak. So, it, it should be a wonderful event. So, just before we go, Stefan, let people know how they can get a hold of you, or how they can sign up for the event. So uh, it's uh, the, you know, just contact them on our website, um, you know, or you, you go, you, you, you uh, see us on LinkedIn, you know, it's a super easy, but the best is really to go on the website, www.deliver.events and, uh, you know, and so you have two sections, either like you're a retailer or you're like a supplier, you know, and so. I I love I love the efficiency three W. I'm using that from now on because I'm I'm old school. I'm like www dot da, da, da. So now three W. I love it. I'm stealing it. I want to say one thing too, Stefan. Uh, what I find amazing too about your event is that it is a global one, and mm -hmm. that as people will look at it, they'll obviously see about America. But I believe there's one in Amsterdam, there's one in Singapore, and so on. So so in this way, you're really making that global footprint with this great event too. So. Just if people know that they can't make it to the one in America, maybe they go to Amsterdam or make it to to Asia as well, right? Very true. Very true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, we, we, we are now a global series and uh, because actually every market has its own uh, stream of, of topics to, 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 to cover, but that's the one same concept, which is rolled out. Yeah. All right, Kareem, why don't you tell the audience how to get a hold of you? And you know, while we're at it, just go ahead and tell them. Tell them how they can get the book. You might as well. Go ahead. Thank you, Richard. Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm on LinkedIn at Kareem Kafoury, and I actually did link in with Stefan and all the team actually before this call, so I'm hoping we'll all become a big LinkedIn family also. But, um, you know, my website is kareemkafoury.com. Uh, my main company is theatlasnetwork.com, where we help customers, you know, with global supply chain solutions and building their supply chains and helping them. Um, especially in the cross-border market and then as you just said i, I do have a book out i so will humble many, so humble i will have many copies of the book for your guests at the show stefan looking forward to putting it out there it's really a easy to read book that's for students or people who have very little or even a lot of experience in supply chain but don't have that holistic view and that's the idea more than anything else and that's at uh supplychainseesaw.com or on Amazon. So awesome. thank you Richard, for bringing All that right. up. You're, You're welcome. Buddy. You're welcome. And thank you everyone for joining us here on the Supply and Demand Show. And don't forget to follow and like us at the Supply and Demand Show on LinkedIn and YouTube. See you next week, guys, or next time. Bye. <laughs>